Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. No makeup day, so we're going to go via screen share. So, um, let's get started. The sale starts for Rouge on the 18th, I believe. Um, so, the first thing I want to recommend to you guys are these Tweezerman Pro Curl Eyelash Curlers. Um, yes, they're a little more expensive, so now is definitely a good time to pick them up when you get your 15% off which I hate that they don't do 20% both times of the year, but that's not up to me. Um, so the Pro Lash Curler, really enjoy it, especially if you have a little bit rounder eye shape because that's what it's made for. Um, and this one just seems to work really well for me. The next thing is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Glitter Eyeshadow Duos. These are a little bit more complicated of a formula to use. Um, this is going to jump over to the page here. So they have, what, six shades um, I have Lottie, which is the plum shade, and then I also have Talia, I believe. These are complicated to use, but they make such a beautiful finish. I'll try to find some pictures um, that I've taken on my Instagram or whatever and insert those for you. So, love those, but they are more complicated. So if you don't like a complicated you know, eye situation, maybe skip those. But they are really beautiful. Something that I don't talk about a lot, but that when I do wear it, I really enjoy is my Tartlet in Bloom palette. Um, this is the second Tarte palette that they came out with. It's not the original Tartlet. It's the, the second one. And when I do wear it, I really enjoy it quite a lot. So I would recommend that as well. Also from Tarte is the Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I'm actually almost out of this foundation. It's a serum-y type consistency. So if you don't like a thinner foundation, you might not like this. This has more of a skin-like finish. It's, I would say, at best a medium coverage, but I do enjoy this formula quite a lot. And I would recommend it if you like that type of finish. Next up, the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Everybody's been talking about these, and for a good reason, I love them. I think these are pretty easy to use by comparison to the Touch and Soul ones. These are a lot easier formula to work with. It's one, let dry, and done. Um, and you can pat it into your lid a little bit as well. It's a little bit of a fallout issue, as you probably saw in my last Get Ready With Me, which I will try to remember to link for you guys. Um, but overall, I really love these. These have quite a few shades. Let me jump over here. So there are quite a few shades of these. I have Smoky Storm, um, which is the light pewter and silver. And I also own Kitten Karma which they identify as champagne, silver, and copper. Um, sneak peek, there's a couple of these on my wish list. Um, I won't tell you which ones yet. You'll have to wait for that video. But um, I really like these a lot, so I'm definitely going to be purchasing some more myself in some different shades, but love these and love the way they look on the eyes. Alrighty, next up is the Narcissist Unfiltered Cheek Palette. Um, I actually do have the original, which is the unfiltered one right here, which is actually intended for deeper skin tones, but I have it and I really enjoy it. The only color I don't use is that red color right there. Um, can you see me pointing? I think you can. Um, that red color there at the bottom. Um, but if that's not your speed, then you could definitely check out the unfiltered two palette, which I also like. I don't think I'm going to get any because I'm trying to declutter blushes. It's so challenging, but that's a really beautiful palette too, so I would recommend these blush palettes, and they are limited edition, so if you want them, I don't know how much longer they're going to be around for. Alrighty, next up from NARS is the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I absolutely adore this formula of lipstick. It's like one of the only higher-end lipstick formulas that I do own. So Anna is my absolute favorite, and if you only get one, I would recommend Anna. Um, but I also own Mona, and I love Mona. I see that it's out of stock online, but I have seen it in my store, so maybe go check your um, Sephora or your Sephora JCPenney during the sale uh, because you might be able to find it there because obviously it's sold out online, and it has been for quite some time. Um, but I also really enjoy NARS Barbara. This is a more nude shade, so... I really enjoy this formula a lot, and I don't need any more shades. I'd love to buy I like a handful more, <laughs> um, but I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be good for now, um, if you want to call it that. So, but that's a great formula, and I highly, highly, highly recommend. 
Um, then one of the other things I recommend is the, um, and this is the gift set, but I think you can buy just the perfume. Um, the Kate Spade Walk on Air is one of my favorite, like, clean perfumes. Um, and so I added a couple of gift sets, but um, really just the perfume itself. I love the bottle, too. The bottle is so cute um, with a little bow. It says the notes. There's the notes right there. So I'll let you guys look at that. Um, Linden Blossom, Maiden's Hair Fern. Uh, Calabrese Bergamot, Solomon Seal, okay, lots of stuff. So, there are the notes right there if any of you guys want to check it out. Um, they call it, um, it, it's a pretty fresh but floral scent. Um, so, there's that. All right. <clears throat> oh, lost my page. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, back to things I recommend. All right, so I also um, really love the Josie Marin Pure Argon Oil, um, and I get to try in a sample the Healthy Skin Treatment Concentrate, which is also really nice. So if you're looking for a nice, like, all-in-one oil, I would definitely recommend these. Um, the Foreo Luna Mini 2, so if you saw my skincare routine, you know this is what I use for my skin, and I absolutely love it. I have the teal. And they do have quite a few colors. I'll show you. Um, it's maybe a little too thorough, but that's okay. Um, so they have, like, quite a few colors. I have the mint one. Um, but you could get, you know, whatever color that you wanted. They all do the same thing. So love those. Highly, highly recommend. Moving right along, some more lip colors that I recommend. Um, the Buxom Big and Sexy Bold Gel Lipsticks. This is a great formula as well. I don't really have any specific shades that I recommend necessarily, but I really enjoy that formula. As well as the Bite Amuse Bouge Lipsticks. Um, and there are so many shades of these. Um, they have so many shades. So uh, I would highly recommend, what is the one that I wanted to recommend? Um... Honeycomb seems to be a popular one. I like chai and what is the one that I like so much? Uh, fig. Fig is one of my favorites. And I feel like there's one more that I really like. But I cannot come up with it off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that's not making you dizzy. Anyway, it's a great formula, so I'm sure you can find a lip color that you like in that formula. <laughs> Uh, next up is the Benefit Cabral. As you guys probably saw my last um, brow routine, I'll try to link some of these videos for you so that you can um, have reference for them. But uh, one of my favorite brow products, this is like a, a brow um, pomade of sorts. I wear the shade 3, and I really enjoy that. Okay, so the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Liquid Lips Colors. These are a really nice formula. They last pretty well, uh, but they're more of a comfortable than a long-wearing lip formula. Next up, the Anastasia Glow Kits. The Anastasia Glow Kits are always a recommend for me. They're just such a beautiful highlighter, and they have, like, five different kinds. And so I think you could definitely find one. That is your speed. Um, I don't know why I didn't open more of these already. But they have quite a few. This one is just the sun-dipped one. I don't know... If you can get all the other ones, but maybe you can. That I'm not quite sure about. <clears throat> so, highly recommend the Glow Kits. Anastasia Brow Waves. Um, if you happen to miss out on it during the 21 Days Beauty Sale and you want to get your hands on it, this is a good time to get your Brow Wiz. The Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I always recommend this palette. I adore it. I love it. But you have to be into the warm tones and the burgundy tones. If you don't like it, you might not like this palette, but for me, this is a holy grail palette, and I absolutely adore it. Next up is the Dry Bar um, Buttercup Blow Dryer. I have this blow dryer, and I also have the Baby Buttercup, which is cheaper, um, and I kind of find that they work the same. So if you don't want to spend the $195, I think for $165 or something like that, um, you can get the Baby Buttercup, um, which is what I use for travel. This is a great blow dryer. And I love it. All right. 
Last few things, and then you're going to get a little sneak peek of my my wish list here. <laughs> um, the superhero uh, mascara from It Cosmetics. I'm excited that they carry It Cosmetics now at Sephora. Um, and this is my favorite mascara of basically ever. And the last two things are from Kat Von D, the Shade and Light Eye Palette. Uh, this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all times for newbies, for people who like my, matte eyeshadows. This is a superb eyeshadow formula and palette, one of my all-time favorites. And lastly, the um, Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D is a great one. If you really enjoy, you know, doing your wing liner with a felt tip pen, you'll love this formula. Okay, okay, guys. So that is everything on my recommend list. Um, I would love to know what you guys recommend down in the comment section below. Anything you guys think I need to pick up. And I will be filming my uh, wish list video here in just a few minutes. So stay tuned for that. It will be coming later on in the week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.